追いかけてたの私を私の読んでる本とかアニメとか映画とかまあ何その曖昧な返事気に入らない<笑>ねえキスしよっかはっはい。Same sentiment rolled into week two because it's like, okay, what's gonna happen? Week one, we got we got introduced to you know June, we got introduced to Ryumi and Naori and like the twins and the concept, and June and uh Ryumi or r y u m i Ryumi, Rumi, Rumi, Ryumi, Ryumi, whatever started dating, they broke up. Okay, now here's the thing, and this is when it starts to get juicy. Ryumi is a piece of shit, okay. Because here's the, here's the reason behind it is she's manipula manipulative and like just a big gaslighter. Because she asked June, as her last girlfriend's request, to, you know, go in and please date my sister. Okay. That's the most like gaslighty. And I don't know what the hell's going on with my camera right now. My camera decided just to take a, a doo doo, a poo poo.、Uh, so I'll put.、Uh, I'll put images on the screen. Okay. So that's the most gaslighty ass thing ever, ever. Okay. Because here's the thing like, that immediately not only discounts June and Naori's future relationship, but it also kind of builds a block that Ryumi can now feel good about her. And she can feel good about it. Blah, 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 blah. Because if they do, like, let's say that. In, in this episode, June ends up asking Naori out because of Ryumi. Okay, so he gave in to the bullshit. But here's the thing let's say he didn't, and June and Naori naturally happen. No matter what, Ryumi can always take credit for that of being a good sister and looking out and giving up the boy that she loved, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what a bitch. Like, I was legitly, like, I got real passionate about it because, like, what a manipulative ass bitch. Like, yo, you for real? And that's really what it, it is, is that, and people like her, by the way, exist. And even though she's, it's like, it's innocent and it's like, You know, she's doing something for somebody that matters more, blah, 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 blah. The real reality is she's doing it so that she could feel good about it, you know, because she went over her sister's head. She, you know, in, in the episode one, she didn't talk with her sister, like, hey, I'm thinking of asking June out, you know,、um, I know you have feelings, because she knew too, not, I know you have feelings too. Would you be okay? Like, I want to make sure that we're okay first. No. She got a one up on her. She decided to pull a bitch ass move and ask him out first, you know. And she immediately basically said, My sister ain't shit. And because the guilt was driving her insane, she ended up breaking up with him and then guilt tripping him again, gaslighting him again. So it's like, What a bitch. So, like, just on that alone, I was like, I like this show. Because immediately, like, I'm like, I hate her. I can't stand her. And. Yeah. So, and the other thing too that I want to talk about is、uh, when it comes to Ryumi and Naori, even before Ryumi decided to do what she did, just first blush,、uh, when the show introduced us to it, I was like, okay, Naori, I like her a lot better. And it makes sense for June as well. Because, you know, the, first off, they're in high school. So that's kind of the, the one thing is like, 98% of the time, the relationship's not going to last regardless, okay? Because they're young, they're in high school. It's just the way life works. Like, only like the 1%, 2% of folks that end up dating in high school or whatever actually make it out of high school and long term. Like, it just doesn't happen, okay? So that's like the, the first thing. But when it comes down to it, between Ryumi and between Naori, like, he just, June has so much more in common with Naori. And he could talk to her 
like, you know, like the nerd talk or whatever, he could talk to her about those things. Now, it's not saying that you always have to find somebody that has like the same interest as you or whatever, because, if, you know, if you care about the the one person, they care about you, you're naturally going to give in a little bit to their hobbies and their, their interests, and you're going to do the same for them kind of thing. So it's like, there's always a give and take there. But I will tell you, if you can find somebody to where you can have that natural nerd talk about whatever, sports, games, anime, books, whatever it is, right? Like, if you can find somebody that you are attracted to and you get along with and you can have these seamless conversation and your interests really do kind of coincide, like, nothing really beats that in life because it's 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 always very strenuous. Like I said, you know, it's not impossible to find somebody who doesn't have your interests and things like that. But when you come across those folks, eventually, you know, depending on how much your interests kind of take up your time, eventually that person's going to feel a certain type of way if they don't also invest a little bit into your hobby or interest as well. So, you know, just just out of that alone, Naori is the better pick. I also think she's more feminine. Which, you know, not everybody's attracted to, you know, some, some may like more athleticism and more, you know, there, everybody has different strokes for different folks, but June as a character strikes me as more of a indoorsy, <laughs> indoorsy, uh, activity person, uh, as opposed to Ryumi was more, uh, you know, she's more of an outdoorsy active person. Which, again, is completely okay, and sometimes, you know, opposites attract. You know, he was definitely attracted to her, you know, to date her. But uh, Naori is more uh, feminine, and as Ryumi called her, more uh, a little more chubby, a little more meat on the bones, right? A little more plump to offer some more things. And she isn't, but, you know, in comparison. So I just think, you know, if I had to pick between them, you know, if I was in June's shoes, I would go Naori out of the gate anyways. I probably would have said no to uh the first girl but regardless i think she's the better pick they seem to blend a little bit better you know she seems a little bit more caring a little more affectionate um a more a little bit more feminine like i think she would have more gentle touches like you, there's just an uh, a certain aura she exudes that is just superior in my opinion uh, to Ryumi. And this episode, you know, Ryumi uh, or Naori herself said to Ryumi, like, hey, you're really like our mom. And she very much is like like their mother. Uh, and it's kind of like, ah, bitch, gotcha, bitch. Uh, so I really enjoy that. Anyways, long story short, June ends up asking her out and she immediately says no, which I really enjoyed it. But she said no in a very uh, fun way. But then she was like, you know, actually, yes, you know. And they start dating and immediately they start like just being very, uh, they get along easily. You know, it, it's very natural. And uh, Naori put the first moves on him uh, a couple of different ways. First hug, first kiss and stuff. And I was like, that's really cool stuff. So I hope that she is able to, my, my hope for the show going forward is that she's able to replace Ryumi in June's mind. And I hope that June no longer thinks about Ryumi. And I hope that he kind of moves his relationship forward with Naori. Uh, and maybe the, the show could end up being more about like acceptance and how they get along at school and stuff. Now, in my brain, as I even I speak it, I know it's going to be to something to where June you know, still thinks about Ryumi, you know, in certain instances, and Ryumi is still very much in love with June, and it's going to be this battle for, it's either going to be one or none of them end up winning. Um, but it would make sense based on everything that June will land in their family, because he gets really, he gets along really well with not only their mom, but for her dad. So that's a big win. So anyways, fantastic show, really loving it. Ryumi's a bitch, and uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys next week. Peace.